Hey everyone and welcome to episode 126 of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. 126 episodes. My name is Robert Lewis. I will be your host for today's show. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in, watch all of our weekly videos. Hopefully you're enjoying them, learning something. Um, if you want to reference our notes for this video or any of our past 125 videos, uh, you can find those on our blog page, mrbeer.com slash blog, or just go to mrbeer.com, click on the little blog button there you can find the videos in a written format helps you uh reference things if you don't want to watch a video or try to scroll through it or, or you know shuffle through to find a certain spot you can just read about it and figure out what you need um so i got a, a good topic for you guys today i'm going to reference my notes a little bit here so I apologize i'll be reading a little bit in advance but just to make sure i cover all the facts uh today's topic with i thought with fall and winter coming up is how to brew beer with coffee um you know, I think that's the coffee flavors are a great addition to beers, especially like dark beer, stouts and porters and those big, heavy ABV beers, especially in the winter months coming up as it gets cold. Well, it doesn't get cold here, but if it's cold other places, uh, so, you, so you need those big stouts. Um, yeah, so the, you know, so the best way to well, first let's talk about there are certain beer styles that have will have coffee flavors in them without actually adding coffee. So you think of like stouts and porters, like I mentioned earlier, those are usually made with like toasted or roasted malts that will impart that kind of flavor and creaminess um, into your beer. So those deep roasted grains will often give like stouts and porters a kind of coffee flavor and kind of a sometimes even a chocolatey flavor. So if you watch any of our tasting videos, some of the stouts and the darker beers we're doing, we'll talk that they're a little roasty, you get a little maltiness, a little bit of that coffee. So from steeping those specialty grains, that can kind of um, help add to that as well. You get like some dark malt or some black malt, some roasted malt, all that cool stuff. Um, so you can, you know, um, get coffee's type flavors without using coffee. So if you're unsure if you like coffee in your beer, try some of our partial mash like stout recipes and some of those, not not so much like the sweet ones with lactose sugar in, but the other ones, and those will kind of help get some of those flavors. Uh, so the next topic is obviously, you know, what, how much coffee should you use when brewing a coffee beer? And like most things, it just depends. Um, the, it really depends on how much coffee flavor you want in the final, um, in the final beer that you are tasting. So if you decide, you know, you wanna do coffee early on in the brewing process, you know, um, a good way to kind of test this, and we've done this uh, a couple of years ago, would be to split one batch between two batches and add coffee to one and not coffee to the other one, and just see if you like it or not. It's a good way to, to gauge how much coffee to use, you know, kind of experiment on a test batch. If you use too little, too much coffee, so you can take your batch, split it in two, and add, you know, some coffee to this one and more or less coffee to the other one, and see which one you like. Um, you know, you can also add uh, coffee during bottling. It, you know, simply just split coffee into your bottles when you're filling them up with beer. Uh, we've got a few recipes like that. Um, but obviously the more coffee you add, the more of those flavors and um, aromas you're gonna get from the coffee. Um, I think we have some recipes where you add them like early on, but there's some you add them during bottling, which I think is a great way to get coffee flavors in bottling. Um, you know, which beer styles work best with coffee? Like I mentioned earlier, stouts and porters are typically what you see most people will, will brew coffee with. Um, it's a style that accommodates the coffee flavors very well because the malts are already, you know, roasty, toasty and all that fun stuff. Um, so it strikes a good balance between, you know, the base beer style and adding coffee to that as well. But you can experiment with, you know, other different types of beers. I mean, there's lagers that have coffee in them, you steep some coffee grains in them. Uh, and some, you know, coffees with IPAs and stuff like that. So it, it's a good experiment to kind of choose and uh, see what you would, you know, what you enjoy versus what you don't enjoy. I mean, I think obviously if you're just not sure, I mean, the staples to go with a dark beer, like a stout or a porter, but if you're really just like, hey, I love coffee and everything, and I wanna try something cool, you know, brew an American lager and try some coffee in that or brew, a coffee wheat beer just get really funky and crazy with it. That's one of the unique things about home brewing and Mr. Beer is that you know you can get your HME as a base and experiment off there and try all kinds of different cool stuff um, that you normally can't do. So the different types of coffee obviously that you use are going to affect the flavor, mouthfeel, and head retention. 
in your beer. Um, if you use like a strong coffee flavor, like a French roast or an espresso, you can expect obviously a richer flavor. You can use, you know, lighter blends like Sumatra or something like that. It'll give you more of a subtle coffee flavor. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, I would caution though, to be aware of the uh, roast because if, if, if it's a darker roast of coffee, it's gonna have a, high, a higher oil content because it's been roasted for longer. So it's gonna release more flavor and aromas, but those oils, will add, you know, richness and mouthfeel to your beer, but they will reduce head retention. Um, so I think it's, it's um, you know, one way to counteract that would be to put some carapils in your beer that will help with that head retention. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. If you are using, you know, coffee in a really strong, rich, dark roast, the head retention in your beer could be affected when you pour it in the glass, but you get some awesome uh, coffee flavors. So types of coffee, should you use beans, ground coffee, pre-prepared coffee, um, you know, I think that it's common that many brewers find using uh, freshly brewed espresso coffee will add the most flavor to your beer. And that's how, you know, we advise people to kind of use it. Some of our recipes on uh, Sunday morning coming down stout, which I think we did a tasting video on, or there's one coming out on it. Um, you know, but you add espresso, a shot of espresso to each bottle. Um, so, you know, I think fresh brewed coffee is um, a great way to get the best flavor and the best aroma out of that. Uh, for those that want to do, like if you want a, a less acidic type of coffee in your beer, you could use a uh, cold brew, which is very awesome. If you ever make cold brew coffee, but you can steep in your fridge for 24 to 48 hours, remove the, the grounds out of it and add the remaining cold brew dish to your beer. You can add it to the fermenter, add it to your bottles, whatever you choose to do. Um, you know, and you also can put them in like, you know, steep your specialty grains and all kinds of good stuff like that. But we would always recommend using fresh coffee. Um, you know, I mean, you can use instant or canned coffee. It, it will get some flavors out of there, but you know, if you want to really get that coffee flavor, use something fresh. I think espresso works the best in my opinion. And then cold brew coffee also works really well. Uh, when do you add the coffee when you're brewing with coffee? Uh, coffee can be added at any point in the brewing process. You can add it when you're, you know, warming up your water before you add your extract. You can add it when you're putting your beer in the fermenter or you can add it during bottling. Um, all these will kind of provide different coffee flavors, but as in our best experience, if you want the most coffee flavor, you should add it during bottling. Um, when you're adding your priming sugar, add a shot of espresso, add a little bit of cold brew, add it during that time, and that's how you're gonna get the most coffee flavor out of your beer. If you just want subtle hints of coffee, not a strong coffee flavor, you know, add it after you mix in your HME or when you're bringing your water up to a boil or something like that. Um, you know, adding coffee in your beer is not gonna increase your fermentation time up front. It's not gonna increase the ABV. It's not gonna do anything, but just add that coffee flavor into your beer. So if you want the best coffee flavor, add it later rather than earlier, especially during bottling. Um, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one, hopefully. You guys are able to follow along. Sorry, I was reading the notes a lot. I was trying to cover a lot of information in a short amount of time. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it is best if you want to add coffee to add an espresso or a cold brew. I think it's best to add it um, during the bottling process. You can add it, like I said, any time um, during the, the brewing process. But if you really want those rich coffee flavors in your beer, add it when you're bottling and that way we'll ensure you got those flavors in there. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like or a comment. Make sure you can find the written notes on our blog page, mrbeer.com slash blog. Make sure you're following us on all of our social media platforms. We're just at Mr. Beer on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you wanna learn more about Mr. Beer or hang out with fellow Mr. Beer brewers, join our Facebook group, Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. That's gonna wrap it up for this week's video and I will talk to you guys next week. Cheers.